first-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Unfortunately, because of the market action we're having today, Mr. Peter Elides will be with us next week. He's just uh, having a little bit of fun over there today, so I think that's okay. And we'll see Peter next week, along with Norman Winsky, will be on Tuesday after our holiday, but we're having a bonkers day. Folks, I posted this yesterday. Uh, or earlier in the week, you know, to watch these retracements because this was the area we were looking at where we were up at 4,200, um, you know, back on the uh, 16th of August. You know, we've been down now for two weeks. Uh, we had a little bottom. Boy, yesterday's bottom, folks. I want to show you this first before we get this. I want you to see this level right here that we're looking at because what could be happening today, and I don't know if it was, but I'll go through the numbers with you whether you'll – uh, believe them or not, because this is one of those ripply believe it or not days. So let's get up and take a look at this next chart. What I've done is I've updated it and show you where I think we are. And then I'll go through the number sequences and you can decide whether you agree with me or not. This is where I think we were yesterday, folks, sitting right at a 61% retracement. As you know, the Dow Jones, let's try it. The Dow Jones made it. The S&P made it. The NASDAQ made it. The S&P was perfect within a quarter of a point. The low was 39.03 and a quarter. The FIB number was 39.02.75. And from there we rallied. You're not going to believe it, boys and girls. Little Johnny in the back of the room just raised his hand and said, Mr. Valentine, did it rally to the 382? Little Johnny, you're spot on today, my friend. You're spot on, and we're going to share those charts with you. Folks, if this is the one-day rally, and we closed really badly today, and we're down on the day after being up 360 points in the Dow, uh, that's that in itself is not a good sign, I wouldn't think. But let's take a look at what's happened from yesterday uh, to today. By the way, I have to share this with you because uh, you think sometimes I have a little bit of advantage over some of the folks when I use the artificial intelligence stuff. Uh, this was one that today was uh, just absolutely, I didn't even update it because I didn't know if it was gonna work or not, but it certainly is, uh, it's worked so far. But let's move on here uh, to the next one here and I wanted to show you uh, what we're looking at here in the Dow Jones, uh, the S&P yesterday. If you remember, we're going to bring this up and show you that's where we were spot on yesterday. When we were on the air, we were hitting the month, hitting the number. Hold on. I got the wrong chart up, Bubba. Let's get it. Let's get the right chart up and then we'll all be happy. Um, what did I do wrong? Here it is. There it is. Bear with me here one second, and we'll get this up here. Hold on. Lots of charts today. This is a day that if you don't believe in numbers, you're not going to believe in anything. That's pretty much it. But there was your 61% uh, retracement yesterday. Uh, we went slightly below it in the NASDAQ and the S and, and the E-mini S&P, E-mini Dow Jones. But the, the S&P was absolutely spot on. And now I want to do is I want to show you what was happening today when we were watching this, because I sent this out, I said, said you got to said you have to be prepared for this because I don't know if it's going to work or not. But uh, this happened to be one. If you like three eight two and little Johnny in the back of the room, sure's up. Sit down, little Johnny. We're done with that one. Hold on. There you are. There's your three eight two today, folks. And there's the number. Believe it or not, forty nineteen seventy five, and the high in the S and P was forty twenty and a quarter. So. That missed it by a quarter, so we can't count that one. However, it is backing off quite a bit. Now, if this is like what we just looked at, and this is nothing more than a one-day rally, folks, when we come in from this holiday, it's not going to be good out there. I don't know what's going to be what what could be happening, but if you remember last Friday, I said, for God's sakes, don't be short stocks. 
And, of course, yeah, we had a big break, and, yeah, we had a rally, but look where we are compared to last Friday. We're still 200 handles below it. That's not a good sign. That's not a bullish thing going on in these markets. So let's keep our you know powder dry and see if that's what's going to happen because that's pretty much what is going on right now. I mean, yeah, maybe it'll reverse today, and hopefully it will, but uh, we have to do one thing at a time, and that's what we're – we're looking at as we're seeing these things, but uh, my goodness, we've got the S&P now is down on a day, 39.54. You know, we've given back, folks, more. We're Well, we'll say, hey, well I'll tell you how close we are. We're almost at the 61% retracement at 39.47. And if that goes below that, if we start going below 39.47, we've already done it in the Dow Jones, but if we start doing it in the S&P, this is going to be possibility reversal day, just like I showed you on that chart that happened back in 2008. So I don't know. We just uh, For what it's worth, two cents worth, if you overpay, it's your own fault. Euro's still going down. Bonds have had a little bit of a rally. I guess it's a relief rally if they want to call that a flight to quality. You know, that's certainly uh, up to them. Now, I have to share with you, we have an award winner this week, folks, of the most colorful chart ever shown at TFNN. I know Jeff in Philadelphia is going to be very sad about this, but Jeff, we have to give the award to Mr. Zach. Zach the man, Mr. M down there in the south. I think he's in Natchez, Mississippi. Somewhere down in there. You're going to tell me where you are exactly, Zach, because I don't know. But you have to see this lovely chart. I mean, we're going to, we're going to send this to the uh, Sotheby's and see if we can get a bid on this. It's certainly got to be better than the banana, banana tap to the thing. <laughs> to the th I think they got 175 grand for that. Look at this beautiful, colorful chart. So unfortunately, these swings, from my perspective, are too small, but he has outlined them, as you can see, on the thing here. But these are just too small for me to uh, to see. But you, you've, he's done a really good job with this, and I just wanted to give him the award as the most colorful chart that we've had at TFNN this year. And, Jeff, you have finished a very close second. It was a photo finish, but we have to give it to Zach uh, because uh, he has too many circles on it to not be considered numero uno. Okay, now back to the gold market. We haven't left the gold market yet, but the gold market is still heading lower, folks. The rally that we had yesterday or having going in today was nothing more than a $30 harmonic number off the bottom at $16.95. And from there, I believe we're heading down even lower. Uh, you know, we, we've been shorting this for quite a while. Still looks bearish in our opinion. Uh, you know, we get the emotionalism, these markets going on, but... This is what we're paying attention to as we as we look at some of these, uh, you know, through the day here. Now, we've got a break coming up here. I think if I can double check to see if my uh, clock is working. I've got 50 seconds left, so I can certainly show you uh, another chart that we want to talk about. And that is the German DAX. We want to get it up here from our good friend, Mr. Tommy Terrific over there in um, Bournemouth, England, and we'll get it up here, and you'll be able to see there it is right now. Still going down. We had a little bit of a bounce today, made an ABCD. But it's a Friday, the day before the holiday. The market should be up. And if it isn't, and if it isn't, that's not a good sign, boys and girls. 877 927 6648. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Monk Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, the S&P just held the magical level of uh, 39.48 in his rallied 11 handles so far. That's a good sign. As long as we can stay above that, we've got a pretty good chance to end up the day here. And we're moving pretty good right now. So we'll see how this ends up uh, by the end of the day. But it's really important, folks. We don't take out 39.48. You know, that's still we're down at eight points on the day, I believe, is what it is. The Dow was up uh, uh, 350. It's dropped over 400 points uh, today, but you know that's just uh, early in the day and stuff. So we'll keep a close eye on this as we uh, as we go through uh, looking at some of these things here uh, today that we're watching. Uh, the gold. I've po I posted the chart of the gold here. What I wanted you to see, folks, is you'll notice here the last rally that we had right here. This was this $30 rally. That's the harmonic number. This one was $60. If you remember, two times 32. 60 bucks right up into that uh, also was a 382 off of the high that was our first sale that was a second sale that was the third sale down in here and we got down to the 1.618 expansion and we uh, believe that we still should be short and so we're still short this and our stop's got to be up around the 30 uh, 17 35 level that would lock in uh, 1735. That would lock in $90 on one and $50 on another. That'd be a $14,000 move if you uh, were able to take care of that. Now, we don't always get that. That's for sure. You know, but sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But from from this, if you'll measure the next A, B, C, D to the downside, that's going to tell us that we're going to get down to that 1676 level that we were there a couple months ago. If you'll remember. And uh, we could easily, and if we go below that, folks, we'll be looking at something way below 16, something around $1,540 per ounce in gold. And if we get that, that will be Christmas Day, in my opinion, of the way we're looking at some of these things. So let's hopefully we'll see, you know, what we're looking at as we're watching some of these things because it's uh, – it's always fun when you're making money. When you're losing money, it's not much fun. But the thing that you have to remember, folks, it's not about the money that you make. It's about the money that you don't lose. And therein lies the that that that's where the real uh, pedal to the metal means. You know what I mean? 
So that's why it's a really important. Look, look how fast the S and P gives up ten points, folks. This is not a good sign for the market. Let me tell you, that is not a good sign. But we'll we'll do this one thing at a time, and we'll we'll go from there, and see where we are uh, today. Hold on just a second here. I've got to figure out where we are. Okay. Now, uh oh, we just broke the 618, boys and girls. That's not a good sign. We're heading lower now. Look out. Look out, Gertrude. We're heading down, Billy Ray. This is going to be a bad day, boys and girls. We're, we're down 150. In the, you remember the last time we did this? Come on, let's go back and read the history book. Remember a week ago, Tuesday, I believe, Dow up, what, 300, ended up being down 900. Hello, operator. That is a huge move. You know, give me a break. You know, that is a big, big move. And so you got to be paying attention to that because it's important that, uh, you know, you don't get wrapped up in some of these things and, uh, you know, miss something that uh, at least we were trying to tell you ahead of time that, yeah, maybe it'll happen. I don't know. Heck, you're only right about half the time in this business. This happens to be the time. Just a minute. I got to, I guess the market's breaking because it's my beepers are going off everywhere. And I have to turn them off. That's mainly the S&P because I knew once it went below the 618, it was in big trouble. It has a 10-point rally up to, I guess it was around 39.60 or something. And now we're 39.43, 20 handles lower uh, right away. I mean, that that in itself is a, is a pretty negative one to uh, pay attention to as we see some of these things uh, un, uh, un, unravel as we're looking at them here today. Hold on just a second, folks. I've got to uh, got to sell some more, and that's all I can do. Hold on just a second here. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We'll get to one after another. Okay, hold on here. We'll get moving. All right, any questions? 877-927-6648. That's what we want to be looking at. So let's keep our powder dry and see what we have going here. But we, uh, we did break that 618. That means the 786 is next. That's at 39.20. And, folks, if we go below 39.03, and I think we're going to get there because look where we are. We're at 39, under 39.48 now, and that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign, boys and girls. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. And not only that, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but the AI is working really good. Let's say it's going to be down the rest of the day. Now, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but, you know, when you look at this, when it's right, it's really right, and when it's wrong, it's wrong. You know, that's why when I tell you here, if this thing is not working after about 15 minutes, get out of Dodge because uh, you don't want to have anything to do with that. It's got to be working right away, and look at look where the, look where the market took off from. See that where, the, where the, the, the bottom was supposed to be? There it was. There was the bottom, and boom, we went right up to the top up here. The ABC measured to 40 uh 21 and we got to 40 20 and a half so you know and the, the 382 was 40 20 the nasdaq spot on just needle point spot on and now the yet the dow jones the dow jones was different the dow jones 382 was at uh 60 um 32,060 and we only got to 32,023 and the ABCD measured the 32,008, but we didn't hit the 382 in the Dow Jones. So those are just a few of the ones that we're looking at here uh, here this morning. And we're going to see whether they're going to continue moving in the direction we think we're going. I've got to change. Bear with me here, folks. I've got to change a few things here I, because I have positions that are on and I have to, to follow them. The, the euro is just, you know, you talk about a, a dying quail, folks. I have to show you this one here because it's uh, – it's really quite pretty because we, you know, we've been bearish the euro for a very, very long time. Let's get this up here. Hold on. Oh, shucks. Bear with me here one second and we'll get this moving here and we'll be moving from that level. Hold on right here. Oh, I did something right today. That's a good thing. Just a second here. Holy cow. They're really hitting this puppy. Now, we're in big trouble in stocks, folks. I think you realize that now with two and a half hours to go, unless some type of a miracle happens, this is not looking good. Good news bad action that's not a good thing to look at so let me get this out of the way here and i want to send you this chart show you the euro now what i want to try to explain to you on these times that i'm looking at for the ai and i post them sometimes you're able to make adva take advantage of them other times you're not but the key time is to watch when let's just get it up here hold on just a second here 
bear with me here just a minute. I wish Peter was here today. I know he's got some great stuff, but he is, oh my God, he's so bearish. Can't even talk to him. Almost as bad as me. Look at the key time here. You see the key time here where the market should start to rally and it rallies. Now it didn't make the high here, but look where it started down. You see, when I tell you it's got to work within 10 or 15 minutes, now that's based right out of the floor trader's handbook. We did thousands and thousands of samples of these. All the AI does is just show you that that's pretty much, pretty much what it's like. Let me give you a little, uh, little uh oh, we got a, a break coming up here. When I come back, I'm going to give you what I think is the most important thing you could ever learn from what's going on today. And I, I've been watching it this morning, and I actually didn't believe it myself. I did in a way, but. Anyway, that's it. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we got a nice little uh, email from uh, Jeff out in Philadelphia showing you, yes, he's number two, but he's going to try harder. Well, you're doing great, Jeff, so keep up the good work. We're going to take a look now, just give you a tiny bit of lecture, folks, because this is, to me, really important. If you like these numbers that we see here, you've got to pay attention to the numbers and patterns. Look at this from yesterday when we were talking to you. We were there at 3906 when I was on the air when it was happening. It was 1030. Right now was when it was bottoming yesterday, 3902, 3906, whatever, 3903. And from there, we rallied up to the 382 right there at 4020. Okay. And from there, look, we've come down. Now, if that's correct, do you realize that you could be looking at an A, B, C, D? We're going to be testing these June lows right after the holidays, folks. If we close really badly today, somewhere, well, 
if we close anywhere where, where we are now, we're in big trouble. So uh, anything below that is in super big trouble because that would tell us that this is nothing more than that one-day rally that we saw yesterday and really strong, scared the bejeebies out of everybody except those that you know were kind enough to buy it. But let, let's go through this. Take a pencil and paper out and look what happened. Yesterday, we hit all those numbers on the downside, 3906. We did the Dow Jones. We did the Russell. We did the S&P. And, uh, and, of course, we did the NASDAQ. All, NASDAQ was a little bit lower, went 50, 50 points below, but went below. But today, today on the upside, the NASDAQ went exactly bada-bing, bada-boom. And I know Henry over there in Las Vegas was nailing it to the cross at that time, right exactly to the 6382 uh, retracement, just like the S&P had done. The only one that didn't do it today was the Dow Jones. It missed it by quite a bit. Now, I wanted to share with you uh, one other thing from yesterday because this is a very important pattern that we're going to be talking about when we do our day trading thing here on the 20th of the month. And you'll notice here, this is the NASDAQ from yesterday, okay? Now, remember, this right here, right there, was the exact 61% retracement on the NASDAQ. But we went lower, making that three drive to a bottom pattern, completing this A, B, C, D. Just perfect spot on, 1.618. And from there... Guess where we went, boys and girls? Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, right up to the 382, okay, of that number right here. Remember what happened here a few days ago? What if this is going to repeat? You're looking at A, B, C, and D. We're going to have some great buying opportunities probably here this fall sometime if this continues to go uh, the way it's supposed to be going. So we'll see if that's the case. So far, uh, we're holding up. Well, we haven't made new lows here for the last 15 minutes, so that's a really good sign. Whether we get much of a bottom or not, you know, I have to wait and see. But do yourself a favor. If you don't believe any of these numbers that I talk about today, about the algorithmic traders, go today and look at the S&P. Look at the NASDAQ. You don't have to look at all. Keep your keep your workload low. Look to see yesterday's 61% retracement, retracement. Look at today's 382 retracement, just like I posted in here. And you're, you'll, you'll start to see that these patterns and ratios have some mathematical validity for uh, for trading. Now, do it, does it work all the time? Heck no, but nothing does. You know, nothing works all the time. Hindsight, that works all the time, but not many people get to use that. So that's another thing that we want to be uh, paying very close attention to. Also, we've got, we're going to have one huge, I mean, H-U-G-H-E, G-G-S-A-P, move coming here in gold and silver. I'm going to share with you the... Uh, open interest that we get from Mr. BV down there in Texas. And we'll get this up here to show you what we're looking at here. This is the S&P. Uh, no, no, no. This is this is silver and gold. I'm going to get the first one up here. This is gold on the left. This is silver on the right. And you can see the dropping of the uh, as you can see the open interest dropping here. Look at this open interest dropping from way up here, folks, and way up here. This is short covering. Boy, when this is over, look out because, boy, the, the, when the shorts start to cover, uh, you know, well, excuse me, it's this new shorts coming in. It's because you have open interest dropping and prices dropping. That tells you that the market is, is weakening, right? Here, look what we've got. We've got prices going down, right? Open interest going down. Market is weakening. Whenever this is over, I don't know when it's going to be. Maybe $16 in silver. I don't know. Maybe... 1580 in gold. I don't know, but whenever that's over, oh boy, that is going to be a really, really big one. We've re that's we've got that marked on our uh, watch list, just as we've had on the stocks here for the past uh, you know several uh, weeks and months. But anyway, those are a few of the things that we're paying close attention to. Now let's switch over here to just two things. I want to make a quick observation here in the corn market. Uh, I want to bring up, this is a daily that we had the other day. One of our listeners was kind enough to uh, share it with us, and I wanted to bring it up and share it with you. This happened uh, just a couple of days ago. Those of you that belong to the 24-7, I send charts out on this. But you can see the ABCD pattern. There's your there's your A leg right here, down here. There's your B leg. There's your three leg. Look, look three right at 3A2 again. Seems to be popping up. 
What does it do? It goes all the way up here, and then it's come all the way back down into here, folks. So we want to be looking to be a buyer of corn here pretty soon because this is a significant move, and we want to be buying on a pullback because when we get to this level right here, and when we get to this level right here, we know what we're going to have. We're going to have a one and a three. And little Johnny in the back of the room is shaking his hand and standing up and he's flashing his little fingers. Five, 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 one, three, five, and that's no jive. Anyway, we'll keep a close eye on that. Aren't, isn't it wonderful, folks, that here I'm heading towards 90 and I haven't grown up yet? I've been so lucky to be in this doggone job. It's just, I don't know. It's not even a job. What am I talking about? I got to share with you this thing from this week that because uh, I talked to Paula Douglas last night. But this quote from uh, Mark Douglas, I want to bring it up because he's with me every day here. He wrote the book here in the office. And uh, I'll tell you, I, I miss him every day. God, it's been six years already. Unbelievable. But his the quote is, you know, when you really believe that trading is simply a probability game, and boy, do I ever believe that, the concepts of right or wrong go right out the window. And that's where you want to get to, folks, because if you can believe that you don't know what the heck is going to happen next, you've got an advantage that very few people do. My problem is I sometimes believe I have an advantage because I think it's going to happen next. I'm only right about 60% of the time. But the one thing I'm able to do is I'm going to be able to protect your backside because when I'm wrong, I'm gone. That's basically what it's all about. So I hope you understand that trading is about not how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. And that's the real key to what you're watching here right now. Very, very important, in my opinion. And of course, opinions only count in horseshoes and uh, tiddlywinks and something else that I can't remember what it is. Hold one second, folks. I've got to put a correction here on a chart here because I want to uh, I want to add to a position and I want to make sure that if I get it up here, I will be okay. All right, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. Let's get it up here, and we'll see if we'll get up here just for kicks and giggles. Sometimes you kick, sometimes you giggles. Who knows? You know, we'll see here. All right. Okay, now we'll see if we're going to get filled or not. Oh, boom. That didn't take very long, did it? Oh, why didn't I get filled? Wow, that's not fair. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Wow. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to go out on a limb here and answer a question. That is um, what I think the market's going to be doing between now and November. If you remember, we had Stan Harley on yesterday. He's predicted somewhere around November the uh, 25th, right around Thanksgiving, we should be making a bottom down in this area right here. Uh, that's nothing more than a ABCD of looking at this, you know, considering what we've done this past week. I mean, with this type of action, the market's telegraphing folks that something is not right that that that's what it looks like from my perspective i don't know if that's right or not but if we close badly today stop and think we got a holiday coming up the market didn't close higher the day before a holiday which is a giant red flag you know it has a 75 percent chance of going up on that day before the holiday and if it doesn't that means the day after the holiday it's not good it's going to be down. I mean, even even a few years ago, you know, the day before Thanksgiving is one of the most popular uh, positive up days that we ever have. And, and on that particular day, we were down that day. And then coming back after Thanksgiving, this was about five years ago, we had a big, big down move. So when those statistics don't work, and believe me, these fellows that play these games, they understand statistics quite a bit. So we got to pay uh, close attention to that as we're as we see these things, you know, unfold here. Uh, today. So I hope that gives you some idea of, of what we're looking at here uh, in these markets. So that's the main thing of what we're paying close attention to here this morning. Okay, now moving on to the markets here. We got gold sold off about oh, nine or 10 bucks from the high we had up at the 50% level, I was told. And uh, we'll see what's happening. We've got a tiny ABCD here going in the um, E mini SP here right now at uh, 39.44. Whether that's going to be something important or not, we'll have to, uh, you know, wait and see how it's going to end up. But this is my prediction on the S&P cash, uh, which is, a, you know, like the futures. All you got to do is just add another zero. But uh, we're somewhere around 3,100 where I think we'll go below uh, in the uh, S&P. And it could go as low as 2,100 on a really, really bad day type thing. It, it could, uh, you know, bad scenario. You know, something's wrong, folks. You know, even when we have good news like we had today, the market gives it up. That means people are out there wanting to sell. And, uh, you know, remember the old joke, the guy tells his broker, sell, sell, sell. And the broker says to who? Going back to trading places when the, the, the Duke brothers were trying to sell and there was nobody to sell to. So I don't think we haven't come to anything like that. The market's been extremely orderly. And I believe that we'll probably be heading down into that direction you know, as we uh, keep watching this stuff unfold. So keep in mind, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose, and that's what we're watching. Now, I wanted to share with you, this is from, uh, hold on, I think it's from Sherwin McClellan's uh, group uh, with his son, but this is a really interesting chart about bull and bear markets over the years, and I'll get this up here so we can take a quick look at this. 
someone was kind enough to send it to me. So I wanted to show you, you know, shows you the major corrections that we've had in some of these things, you know, over the years. We this was when it was really bad, you know, back in here, you know, 70, 80 years ago. But look how our corrections have, you know, every time we've had one of these, you know, it's been a really good buying opportunity. Look at each one of these folks. You can see the one in 2008, the one in 2017, you know, the really big one. Look at the look at the crash. Uh, look at the crash there, 1987. That looks like a, a, a blurb. Hey, we've got a caller from uh, New Jersey. Jeff, Jeremy, what can I help you with? Hey, Larry, how are you today? Living the dream, my friend. What can I do for you? Um, I was just actually looking at some of the volumes. It really just seems like um, on the NASDAQ composite, I mean, there's some heavy selling going on. Would you agree or no? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there has been, you know, a great deal, a great deal of selling for sure. No no question about it. It's been more than uh, what we would have expected for sure. That's no question about it. It, it just literally started happening at about 12.45 to, to about 1 o'clock. Yes, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what triggered it. All I know is that I saw it happening, and we were right up against those three eight two numbers. And I said, "Well, maybe this is going to work today. Maybe it isn't that much. I didn't know, but you know, it started in the right direction. So I figured, well, maybe it's going to continue in that direction. So we'll have to uh, have to wait and see if it still works. But so far, it's doing what I thought it was going to do. The key today, Jeremy, is that we close badly because you know that we've got two hours to go. And we've seen these things come back before and make humongous rallies. So we've got to pay attention to that could also happen, you know, very easily. So your, your guest on the show yesterday, um, I was listening. Yes. Um, he, he had said that on the S&P that the, uh, the failure, I think, was, was today's high, right? Almost to the dollar, right? Yes, that's correct. We yeah we we discussed that. Yes, sir. We sure did. Huh? Okay. So that All that's right, what we that's that's I, what we're um, watching on. I I hey. just wanted to um, just note that selling that was going on in the Nasdaq because I had just um, saw it coming in right around uh -huh. twelve thirty. I mean, you could see it on the volume, and it just literally just took the market right out. So it I'm did. just making you aware of that. I don't know if you're your your um, beepers were going off, but <laughs> they they were definitely going off this morning. Believe it or not, they were they were definitely doing that for sure. But hey, thanks for calling in, Jeremy. I really appreciate the I, call, my friend. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You bet. Okay, folks. Uh, we'll let's see what happens here over the next few hours. Let's keep in mind, folks, that uh, we've only got a few more minutes here on the show. But if it closed really badly today, folks, if you remember last Friday, I alerted you to be really careful. You know, you, you see what happened. We were down uh, that 1,200 from what, 1,200, from 300 up to 900 down. We made a low on Wednesday, okay? And then we rallied back a little bit and we've given most of Look how fast it gives it back. Holy cow. Shut the front door and raise the rent, Marty. You better not be long into this, this holiday weekend, boys and girls. The selling gods are coming after us. Well, that means we're getting ready to rally pretty quick. <laughs> I don't know or not, but boy, this thing looks really bearish, folks. If you ever read a tape, just listen to what Jeremy was talking about here. We just had a 100-point rally in the Dow Jones, and we gave back 100 points in, in a matter of one, two, in, in six minutes. Boy, that's not a good sign. And now we're approaching the 78% retracement at 39.28. You remember what happened when we went through 39.48. Would we rally back to? 39.48, and now we're down there hustling against that number again. So let's uh, see what happens. We're really starting to pick up steam here. And with two hours to go, uh, I would not want to be trying to pick a bottom down in here anywhere, boys and girls. That's just my uh, opinion. Maybe I'm being a little bit uh, cautious or whatever, but uh, we'll see one thing at a time. That's all we can do. The bonds are actually up ticking during this time, so there's a flight to quality with that, so that's going to be a really interesting one to uh, pay uh, close attention to also. So we're really near some of these really cool numbers, so let's see what happens. That's all we can look at, no more, no less. Okay, uh, we're going to take a break here, I believe. Now, how much do I have left on my old clock here? Oh, I've got 29 seconds, enough to talk about 
five or six different things, but there's the music, 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, on the 20th of September, I'm going to be doing a one-day trading session, five hours, of uh, live trading from 9 until 2 in the afternoon and our goal there is to make money we've had uh, four of these this will be the fifth one over the past three years and uh, we've done very well with those we haven't had any losing days somebody's at the door knock on wood but we're going to do our best to uh, you know use some of these patterns that we look at each day here to show you how they work we're going to do some teaching in between and we're going to have a guest I believe 90% sure that Tommy Hugard, Trader Tom, is going to stop in and trade with us for an hour and share with some of the ideas from his book, The Best Loser Wins. That's not official yet, but I'm about 99% sure. Well, Ivory Soap, 99.9. .9. But that'll be on September the 20th. So um, stay tuned. That'll be the last one for the year. And looking forward to it. And that's really a great time that September 20th happens to be my mom's birthday. Always a great day. 
So I'm looking forward to doing it. It's a lot of fun. And we follow through. You get a month or two, I believe, uh, of the service of 24-7. Plus you get the books and some other stuff to help you teaching the, the flashcards and all the other stuff that's there and some of the mental stuff that we use when we're doing this. So that's what we'll be doing here on the 20th. Remember, folks, that we're not clue, two hours to go. Anything could happen, and it usually does. But uh, keep in mind that uh, this market – if it continues to go down like it is, uh, we could be looking at something, you know, really, really nasty coming in here after these holidays coming in. Just like we were last week, if you recall, that was the same thing that we were looking at during that time. You know, we had a situation where, you know, by golly, we were, you know, we looked like, you know, it was the end of the world. In fact, it was at some time, but for for, for a while there, at least it held up. So let's, uh, let's keep ourselves ready for what happens over the holidays there's always going to be trading we haven't had any really bad limit down days and stuff that's coming but it ain't coming yet so we'll be paying attention to it so we got nine eight seven six five four three two one time is up we'll see you on the flip side on tuesday live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless mm -hmm.